Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'm gonna be doing something that I don't think I've ever done on my channel. And if I have, I probably just don't remember the time that I've ever done this. So to me, this is a brand new thing. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I'm gonna be talking about a cheap little digital camera that I bought on Amazon. I have been loving taking pictures that not just like a recent thing i just enjoy taking pictures period and at one point i thought my phone isn't enough i need like something to actually take pictures with because my phone is running out of storage i can barely turn the camera on without it telling me my storage is full so i bought myself a cheap little digital camera in hopes of finding a camera that I can take pictures with. Which one did I buy? I bought this one here. I saw that they had a pink one and pink happens to be my favorite color so naturally I gravitated towards the pink one. I really want to have a photo album again. I miss those. I miss the days where we would flip through a book just to be like oh, I remember that time. Now I flip through my camera roll and I can barely even find anything within like my thousand of something pictures. I still have the box. The camera's not in here because I've been using it, but I did want to keep the box just to show you the things that I had in it that it gave me. Um, first things first is obviously the camera. They also gave me two of these batteries. One of them is in the camera. I still haven't opened this other one because the first one isn't even dead. I also got a cord to plug in the camera to charge it, which was really confusing because usually for my cameras I have like a separate battery that I plug the camera battery into but this one is like I put the battery in and then I charge the camera um, and for the camera itself this is it this is ooh ah you can really tell that it's a children's camera oh by the way it's a children's camera <laughs> when you turn it on it says hello and when you turn it off it says goodbye it also has a little jingle when you turn it on and when you turn it off it has the buttons for deleting flash timer multiple pictures in a row you have zoom ins you can zoom out i don't know what these ones are to be completely honest let's try it right now oh one of them you can turn it to recording which i don't ever do and if you press it again you can actually see all the pictures that you take that i did not feel like showing you the last one i'm so sorry that's the camera itself oh also when you turn it on i expected this part to come out but it didn't it's probably for the best because once again it is a kid's camera i assume if it falls it'll stay intact like i said earlier i do want an album of pictures which means i didn't really go into the recording aspect of this camera i just took pictures and i wanted to see how those came out so that's what i'm going to be talking about today is is how these pictures are how they ended up turning out I feel like I should share what I'm looking for in pictures because I do have a certain aesthetic that I'm looking for I'm looking for bad quality I'm looking for grainy pictures I'm looking for flash pictures so if you're looking for something high quality HD 4k this is not it for you I'm telling you right now luckily that's not what I'm looking for I'm looking for that grainy bad quality and guess what that's exactly Exactly what I got. I knew I was gonna have to edit these pictures, which to me isn't a big deal. Personally, I do like editing pictures. I think editing brings out a lot more character rather than just leaving it bare after you take a picture of it. So to me, I was fully already expecting to take pictures and then edit them. This is kind of where it gets tricky for me because I'm a perfectionist. I really want pictures and like everything that I work on to be perfect otherwise I'm gonna hate the product and I'm gonna hate the end result. So the editing process is where it starts to get a little iffy for me but it has nothing to do with this camera. Okay, I think it's time to share the pictures that I've taken. I'm gonna show you the original pictures as well as the pictures I edited. So far, I've taken about 80 pictures on this um, camera. I transferred it onto my phone. Here's picture number one. Here's the original and here is what it looks like after. This was maybe my third or fourth picture I started to edit, but this was the first one that I knew I wanted my pictures to look like this. Here's the second picture, once again, original and the edited version. This one was a little harder to edit. I think I edited it, edited it, I think I edited it about 
three or four times until I finally got the picture that I wanted it to look like and this is how I wanted it to look like. Before I show you the third picture, I do want to say the thing about like me taking pictures in general is the fact that I don't know how to edit it the way that I want it. I'm very indecisive. I like different things and that also goes for the way I edit different pictures. I have this picture here. This one is unedited but I also like this picture when it's edited and I also like it like this when it's edited. Obviously there are two different ways of editing. One is much brighter, one is much darker. I happen to like them both. I just don't know what I would prefer. I think I like the brighter one better, but I also like the aesthetic of the darker one. Same with this one. Here's the original picture, here's the darker edited version, and here's one where it's lighter. Personally, I think the lighter one looks like it's like an old-timey 1920s picture in your wallet. Someone's off to the war and they're staring in their wallet and this is probably the picture that you see. Like, this is the vibe that this picture gives me compared to this one here. Also, oh my god, this picture I took because I was about to win this game of Uno. If you want to see the winning card, here it is. Original and edited. There were so many different things that I could do with this picture. There were so many different ways that I was able to edit it, which is kind of a pro. I like being creative. I like doing different things with the same product just to see where I could go with a picture. But this picture was hard to um, edit because of my indecisiveness. A lot of these ones I did with the flash on, but I wanted to see one that was in the middle of the day. I wanted to see one with daylight. I wanted to see how that would look, so I tried to take some pictures of me and honestly I hated it. So here is the best attempt of a daylight picture. Here's what it originally looked like. I don't know if there's much of a difference. There kind of is, but like not too much, but I do like the final outcome, I will admit. Here's just like a regular random one. Um, this was me playing my bass in the dark at one point, right before I was gonna go out, but I didn't want to turn any of my lights on, but I did want to play my bass before I left, so I was playing it in the dark. Original, edited. Original, edited. Original, edited. This picture I'm actually a fan of. I dig this picture. I love the way it looks. I love the aesthetic of it. I love how it looks old-timey. It's flash. It's dark. I love it. Those are the pictures that I did end up editing. That's how this camera has been going for me. It's been pretty good. I am excited about it. I love that it's pink. I love that I can just put it in my pocket. The size is literally like the size of my palm. I also have really small hands, so like I'm sure if you have bigger hands, it'll look like it's like a teeny tiny thing in your hand. Overall, is it worth it? Will I continue to use it? Would I recommend it to people? Kind of, yes. And if your aesthetic is dark, grainy, blurry, low quality pictures, yeah, I would recommend it. But keep in mind, you will have to edit these pictures, otherwise they will look... Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much my whole review on this camera. It's a cute little camera. I will continue to use this. I have nothing bad to say about this other than the fact that like there's that little jingle in the beginning. It's like a 4 out of 10, but it does hit all the requirements I'm looking for, so I will continue to use this, because why not? I did buy it. I like the way it looks. Sure, I have to edit a lot of it, but I think that's fun. I do like to be creative in that sense. So, personally, this camera is perfect for me. That's pretty much it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next week for a brand new video. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye!